There is no doubt that setting up another agency is within the power of the Senate. And if we are invited to contribute to the debate, we will be willing to offer our opinion. While we cannot fault the power of the Senate on that, yet for a member of the upper chamber to have made such an unfunded and unwarranted categorical statement against the agency led us to look inward to see what could have been responsible for such a capital general statement. What we found out was shocking and we concluded that his statement came from a place of vendetta and certainly not out of public interest or any altruistic motive. Now, I'll give you how we came to that um, conclusion. The personal house of Senator Ashiro in GRA Ilori, the capital of Kwara State, had been raided in recent past by the agency where drugs and illicit substances were recovered, while two of his aides, Ibrahim Mohammed and Mohammed Yahaya, were arrested. Based on credible intelligence and surveillance, which confirmed that the senator's house was being used as a drug joint for drug dealers and users, the house was raided by our operatives at 1.30 p.m. on February 4, 2024 during which the two aides were arrested while a third suspect escaped arrest. In another encounter with the senator, the agency also received intelligence that some of his boys, popularly known as Omar Senator, operating from his hometown of Far, were equally dealing in illicit drugs. A raid was subsequently carried out on their joint in Ofa, where one of them, Oluwatosi, or dead Peter, Peter was arrested and illicit drugs such as methamphetamine and cannabis recovered from him. That was on June 11, 2023. The bid to get the agency to drop the case against Odette Peter, including a visit to the Quara State Command headquarters of the agency in Ilorin by the personal assistant to the senator, one Omoluavi was reported as Otepidon was promptly charged to court and prosecuted. Though the Kubri job bill in 2023, he was rearrested in 2024 after the court issued a bench warrant for his arrest. He was eventually convicted and sentenced in June 2024, that's this year. 